Welcome to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the POCO X7 Pro, not from real-world tests, but from a technical perspective based on the specs revealed by the developers themselves. We'll break down its Dimensity 8400 Ultra chipset, starting from the CPU core to the GPU and then the NPU. Finally, we'll compare it to the Snapdragon 8's Gen 4 found in the Redmi Turbo 4 Pro. At the heart of the Dimensity 8400 Ultra lies the Cortex A725, ARM's new mid-performance core for 2024. It's built on the ARM V9.2 architecture with a focus on efficiency and responsiveness, designed to sit between the high-end Cortex-X925 and lower power cores. Improvements over Cortex-A720 Wider out-of-order execution window Expanded instruction issue queue larger reorder buffer. These allow the A725 to process more instructions simultaneously and execute them out of order, making it faster and smarter in real-time workload. The Cortex-A725 is designed for next-generation 3 nanometer nodes, like those produced by TSMC. Thanks to this advanced manufacturing process, it delivers up to 25% better power efficiency compared to the previous Cortex-A720. It also reduces L3 cache traffic by around 20%, which means less unnecessary memory movement, helping save both power and performance overhead. Advanced power management features like dynamic voltage and frequency scaling, also known as DVFS, and half-slice power down modes allow the chip to adjust heat and energy use in real time. This helps keep the device cool while maximizing battery life, even under heavy workloads. The CPU cluster layout in the Dimensity 8400 Ultra is as follows. One Cortex-A725 core running at 3.25 GHz. This is the prime core. Three Cortex-A725 cores at 3.0 GHz. These are the performance cores. And four Cortex-A725 cores at 2.1 GHz. These handle efficiency tasks. This CPU uses only Cortex-A725 cores, a unified architecture that improves thermal control, simplifies task scheduling, and enhances battery efficiency. Now let's take a closer look at the GPU powering this chip, the Mali G720 MC7. It's one of ARM's most efficient graphics processors, introduced in 2024 and still highly capable in 2025. This GPU is built on ARM's fifth-generation architecture, the most efficient GPU design ARM has created so far. It lays the foundation for the next generation of mobile gaming and visual computing. ARM describes it as a foundation of silicon success, delivering improved visuals within the same power budget. That means users can enjoy immersive mobile experiences for longer, without overheating or draining the battery too quickly. A key highlight of this GPU is Deferred Vertex Shading, or DVS. This new geometry flow improves rendering efficiency and visual quality, all while using less energy. The Mali G720 MC7 also improves tile-based rendering, helping sustain better frame rates with lower power draw, especially compared to the older Mali G610. You'll also get support for modern gaming features, including variable rate shading, refresh rates above 120Hz, and the Vulkan 1.3 graphics standard. While it might not match Adreno in pure gaming horsepower, its performance per watt ratio makes it a major upgrade, ideal for extended smooth gaming sessions on mobile devices. Backed by a full suite of developer tools, this GPU is optimized for high-end gaming performance and long-term efficiency. The Dimensity 8400 Ultra also includes a next-generation MediaTek APU, short for AI Processing Unit. While detailed specifications are limited, MediaTek claims the following improvements. Enhanced multimodal AI performance. Optimized for camera enhancements, voice recognition, and real-time translation. Seamless integration with the CPU and GPU through MediaTek's Neuropilot framework. This APU is expected to handle on-device AI tasks faster while consuming less battery compared to previous generations. MediaTek's next-gen APU revolutionizes smart AI performance, delivering rapid solutions to real-time tasks. 
Let's now compare this with the Redmi Turbo 4 Pro, powered by the Snapdragon 8S Gen 4, also known as the SM8735 Snapdragon 8S Gen 4 layout. One Cortex-X4 at 3.2, 1 GHz, Extreme Performance Core. Three Cortex-A720 at 3.0 GHz. Two Cortex-A720 at 2.8 GHz. Two Cortex-A720 at 2.0 GHz GPU Adreno 825. Now let's compare the performance of the Poco X7 Pro and the Redmi Turbo 4 Pro, focusing on their CPU and GPU power. CPU breakdown. We use the Cortex A720 as the baseline, with a performance score of 100. The Cortex A725 is 25% faster, so it scores 125. The Cortex X4 is 36% faster than a 725, so 125 times 1.36 equals 170. So our values are a 720 equals 100. A 725 equals 125, X4 equals 170. Poco X7 Pro Core Layout. 1A725 at 3.25 GHz. 3A725 at 3.0 GHz. 4A725 at 2.1 GHz. CPU computation. 1 times 3.25 times 125 equals 406.25. 3 times 3.0 times 125 equals 1,125. 4 times 2.1 times 125 equals 1,050. Total CPU score 2,581.25. Redmi Turbo 4 Pro Core Layout. 1 Cortex X4 at 3.21 GHz. 3A720 at 3.0 GHz. 2A720 at 2.8 GHz. 2A720 at 2.0 GHz CPU computation. 1 times 3.21 times 170 equals 545.7. 3 times 3.0 times 100 equals 900. 2 times 2.8 times 100 equals 560. 2 times 2.0 times 100 equals 400. Total CPU score 2405.7. In our previous video, we mentioned that Redmi Turbo 4 Pro is 9.2% faster than the Redmi Turbo 4, which is the China variant of the Poco X7 Pro. That speed difference was based on burst performance, the raw power of the Cortex X4, especially in short tasks in gaming. But in this video, the Poco X7 Pro leads by 7.2% when it comes to consistency and efficiency, thanks to its eight balanced A725 cores. In our previous video, we established this. Adreno 825 is 60% better than Adreno 735. Mali G720 MC7 is 40% better than Adreno 735. Now using Adreno 735 as the baseline, we assign it a value of 100 units. Mali G720 MC7. 100 plus 40 equals 140 units. Our Adreno 825. 100 plus 60 equals 160 units. Now let's calculate the GPU advantage. 160 minus 140 equals 20. 20 divided by 140 equals 0 0.1429. 0 0.1429 multiplied by 100 equals 14.29%. Final GPU result. Adreno 825 is approximately 14.29% better than Mali. G720MC7. Redmi Turbo 4 Pro has stronger CPU burst performance, about 9.2% higher. Poco X7 Pro delivers more balanced and efficient multi-core performance. Adreno 825 GPU in the Turbo 4 Pro is 14.29% better than the Mali G720MC7 in the X7 Pro. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tap the bell icon for more tech comparisons. Let us know in the comments which one would you pick, the raw power of the Redmi Turbo 4 Pro or the efficient balance of the Poco X7 Pro? Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.